Hello uh, everyone on Facebook, you're very welcome to the Intermediate Championship Final here between Tiernanog, uh, Ronaldstown and St Mary's uh, Hall. Tony Gales actually, I better get it right. Uh, my uh, my Nicky Bones from uh, Ronaldstown and joining me is Nigel Lynn. Nigel. Uh, good afternoon folks, very warm welcome here to Dunsilly. This is going to be uh, a very tight match today, there's going to be no quarter given, no quarter asked. Uh, let me say that Ronaldstown are fantastic. Here in Oak, fantastic club, fantastic team, and I say that because I'm surrounded in the hill here by them. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Sage, your, your bread's buttering anyway, good man, Nigel. No, we, we know look, uh, at the very best of luck to both teams. Uh, two two local rivals, that's great for the South West of Antrim, the C2, two teams pushing uh, for championship glory. So we'll go through the teams here just before uh, the throw in. Uh, we'll start with uh, our Tony Gales. Uh, number one is Martin Graham. In the full back line, number two is Stephen O'Connell. Number three is Bernard Graham. Number four is Bobby McGee. Number five is Finbar O'Neill. Number six is Dermot Graham. Number seven is Eamon Brady. At number eight is the captain, Francis Neeson. At number nine is Tom McGlone. Number 10 is Owen Neeson. Number 11 is Owen Graham. Number 12 is Patrick Graham. Number 13 is Dan O'Neill. Uh, number 14 is PJ O'Connell and James O'Connell is number 15. Nigel, do you want to read out Tierno? I, I try my best. Um, number one is... Oh, it's Scamper. Oh, Scamper. That's, uh, Kevin, Kevin Sheeran. Kevin Sheeran. Number two, corner back Tony Martin. Number three, Christy Sheeran. Uh, number four, David. David. Uh, uh, Maybe you'd be better no, no, calling Daniel. him. Daniel, sorry, that's my handwriting. Sorry, my handwriting's <laughs> not very clear there. Daniel Martin is number four. Ryan O'Neill, the captain for Tierno, is number five. Number six is Kevin Duffin. Uh, number seven is Kieran O'Neill. Number eight is Aaron McNeely. Number nine is Kieran McKeown. Number ten is Eamon Oak McAllister. Number eleven is Kieran Logan. Number twelve is Sean Duffin. Number thirteen is Niall Devlin. Number fourteen is Colin Duffin. And fifteen is Sean McKinley. Uh, the management teams for both uh, for Tiernan Oak uh, we, we have JP McLarnan, Robert Graham, Leo Heatley, and James McVeigh. And for Cloney Gales in charge, we have uh, Hugh Dobbin, and we have Ryan Doggerty, and we have Shea O'Hagan. So the best of luck to both teams. Obviously, one team will have to come out as winners. Somebody's going home disappointed, and uh, let's hope it's uh, Tiernan Oak. <laughs> Thanks, Nigel. Uh, well, listen, conditions are, are perfect here. Uh, there's a great crowd gathering here, socially distanced, of course, at Donsilly. Uh, there's a slight breeze coming across the pitch, but uh, we're just getting ready. The pitch is in first class, perfect conditions. And uh, everybody's just looking forward to a real cracking game of hurling because both both teams have served up really good wins last week. Uh, Tiernan Oog against Glenariff had a two point win. Uh, and uh, Cloney had Cloney Gales beat uh, Kerry by, by three points. So two, two, two hard fought semi finals, uh, and this is where everybody really wants to be. So we're just getting the photographs with the captains and the referee at the minute. Both, uh, both semi finals, I think, were slight underdogs, both teams going in. And yeah. uh, they, they caused an upset. Yes, both both teams both teams were definitely uh, uh, the Brookies had them as underdogs last week, and both teams had battling performances to come out on top. Um, today, uh, the the Brookies actually made uh, Cloney Gales good firm favourites, uh, probably because of their intermediate uh, championship success in the past. But I know this will be a very hungry Tiernog side, and uh, they'll not they'll leave everything on the pitch. Yes. Um, Cloney Gales have a pedigree going back to uh, 2007 when they, they got to the Junior All-Ireland Final and then winning the Intermediate uh, Ulster in 2013. Uh, but Tyrone will be hungry for this and, and Cloney have to match that intensity today. Um, so it's, it's an intriguing battle today. So we're nearly, we're nearly ready for the off. Both teams in the huddle. I'd like to apologise in advance in case you hear um, any swearing, but uh, me and Nicky will try our best to keep it to a minimum. Definitely, definitely. OK, 
Okay, it seems if Tony Gales are uh, starting the first half playing uh, uh, down towards the roundabout side, Terry Oaks playing in towards the undermanned. Um, slight breeze, favour, well, it's not really favouring any team, but it's coming across the pitch. So, don't think it's perfect conditions for Hurland. Pitch is in absolute fantastic conditions, and it'll just be, uh, I'm sure, hell for leather from the very start. In the middle now, but for the, yeah, it's the first contested ball, so Francis Neeson and Tom McGlone for Tony Gales. Yeah, R. McNeely, R. McNeely and Kieran McEwen midfield. Young, two young players, but uh, both, both, all sets of players will be given given it uh, given everything in the first five minutes to set a marker down. I'm sure. I think uh, Cloney Gales will be looking to the the twin threat of the Colin brothers, PJ and James, in the full forward line, who uh, do the bulk of their scoring. And we're off. Francis Neeson first in possession. And down into. Ryan O'Neill puts a hard tackle in. Aaron Addy, McNeely. Addy Graham is the ball. And that's a Gives a free. Free's given towards Cloney. First couple of seconds. That was good work by Francis Neeson there in the middle of the field to swing almost polo like. As Nicky says, the wind's blowing uh, more or less across the pitch, so yeah, I don't sorry. know how that will affect. We'll, we'll see southeasterly, but I think. Who hits these frees now? This will be, uh, this will be James. James will call. Free. James will call. I'm sure it'll be in his range, no problem. Oh, oh just nice. tails away. Yeah, wide ball, wide ball at the near post. Quick puck out there by Scammer Kevin Sheeran. Oh, good tackle by uh, Sean Duffins in, putting pressure on the Cloney defence. Oh. Good work by Finbar Neil there. And we have a line ball. Line ball to Cloney Gates. So it'll take a while for both teams to settle into, into their. Nice say line ball by Fanbar. Another wide. Another wide. Second wide for Cloney okay. Gales. Perhaps it's we're shooting into that breeze, into that maybe it's perhaps having some sort of effect there, but it's Again round just turning over, wasting no time in the in the puck outs. Even oh, unlucky, Even though couldn't keep the ball in there. Even though was probably one of the star performers in the semi final, putting in a fantastic performance against Glenarf. Another line ball taken by Finbar and Neil. Oh, That's a lovely cut. Line ball. Brilliant ball into the forward into line. The Very dangerous into the corner. Our view is somewhat restricted here, as such with the crowds, but we will we'll endeavour to do our best. Big scumper in the nets trying to tell the defender to settle her down. Bit of a nervy opening, but it's Cloney Gales are dominating the first early exchanges. Another way, another, another wide. wide. Okay, Cloney might left to regret these. Nobody likes to hit too many ways. So that's three in the opening first few minutes. I think James will be looking for a, for a nice handy or one than that to get him off the mark. That's excellent striking by Scumper. Ogie's up for it. Uh, center half back speed. Jamie Graham sweeps up. Oh, Brilliant block lovely, lovely by Ryan O'Neill, captain for Tiernan Og. A dangerous ball in. Oh. Goes in past Christy and it is brother Kevin Sheeran. Great clearance from defence from the goals. That's a dangerous looking ball up front. Whoa, well oh, taken by Eamon Oak. Right through the middle. Go ahead, Eamon Oak. Right through the middle. If he looks. Oh, oh shoots oh, low and it comes off the again. Tony defence. That was an inspiring catch. Clear downfield by McAllister. Bernard Graham. And the ball's nearly wide. Oh, Graham get play by number five, turning Oak. Facebook Live, is it? Sean Duffins out in front, looking around, sprays it across to Arm McNeely. Arm McNeely's run through the middle, a bit of space. 
Puts a ball in, half blocked in. It's coming in, bit of a breaking ball. Oh, he's oh. Sean McKinley in. And Niall Devlin is. Oh, it's oh, a goal for Tenero. Oh, that's a brilliant the ball, rolls it back in the net. Niall Devlin pounced on it, lifted it, and struck it with Venom into the back of the net. Absolutely first class corner forward play. And the crowd enjoyed that in the blue end of the pitch. Times like this, I wish it was at the far side. <laughs> Early days, but goals, very important championship. Another sideline ball, the ball seems to be stuck over in this far sideline here in the early stages. Start by Niall Devlin. That should certainly settle the turn and nerves early. They only need to get their first score on the board. Oh, is that? And that's another another wide. Yes, just tails yeah. wide. I think this breeze is having a bit of an impact mm. now. So what it, do you think? It is definitely. Just it's, into it's the. There just seem to be a lot in this bottom right hand corner, and the ball's through. It drops. Great play again by by him and Brady. Dangerous looking ball in here to the forward line. Good, good James passing the game, but turn defence. Coming through the middle, kicking it. Christy Sheehan bursts out, hits a tackle, and runs out of defence. And a great hand mm. pass over to Sean Duffin. Sean Duffin, great diagonal ball into the corner. Oh, finds Kieran Logan. Great touch from Kieran Logan. The man has pace to burn. Go round him, go round him. That's it. Go away, son. Well oh, played by Dermot Green. Unlucky, great play. Kieran, unlucky. Keep at it. Oh, well done, Sean McKinley. Battle a young man from uh, Belfast, lives in Ralston, been playing for us a few years. Proud father Liam and Uncle Kieran sitting watching down. That's it, it's just very scrappy here at the moment. Bit of a ruck, nobody seems to be getting out now. Devlin takes Round. it. Tyrone come away with it. L gets a head up, oh, gets a great ball in the middle. Kieran McKeown just getting under control. It's going through the middle. Oh, another score. And a point for Tyrone Kieran McKeown, excellent. Goal and a point to no score at the minute. A great start by Tyrone Oak. Around this time, men certainly have settled the better here. Martin Graves pucks the ball out, finds out. And out. Well hooked. Dangerous looking ball, a half blocked. Tony Martin needs to stand up strong. James Cott, very dangerous player. And back to Paddy Graham. Paddy Graham looks up a drop over the be, bar. That looks to be the first score. That's an excellent score from Paddy Graham. Excellent score. Who was that? That was Patrick Graham. Patrick Graham, excellent Patrick score Graham. there from Patrick. And, uh, Scammer's puck out is causing danger here. Oh. Him and out goes ahead. Oh, takes That'll it. be a free. Wins his free. Wins his free, puts the ball down. Certainly these puck outs are, are with plenty of length on them are causing a few problems here at the moment. Yeah, certainly, Nigel, the, the high ball into Eamon Oak seems to be a, a potent uh, strategy at the minute. seems to be working for them. Sean Duffin's a... Rallis Town certainly, uh, certainly tall. Yeah, player. quite quite a lot of tall men, usually a lot of Tiernog men in the past perhaps were doing on the short side, you know, but uh no, it seems to be a few tall men and they seem to be making a count at the minute. Sean Duffin That's deadly accurate between the posts yet again. That'll sell his nerves. First free, that's uh, one for one for Sean. And we've got one two one two to one. One two, one, two to, one. to one. Yeah, and the great teams of Tiernog when I was my playing days, which is quite long ago, there was with the likes of Anthony Brady and Dominic McCoy and a, a very low centre of gravity, very hard to mark. Again. Oh. Oh. oh, referee not, not made sure. a good call there. It seems sure to quite uh, that was for. Like seen them given, seen, seen them seen them missed, but the referee picked that one out. Okay, so it's a free to tear nug. Definitely the, the the breeze is swirling, which is yes. it's hard to know when yeah. it's changing. Sean must be a good 100 yards out. That's, that's a mighty that's effort. A massive. Looks it's like not on target, away. but it's not going out. Oh, Niall keeps it in. Great play by Niall Devlin. Keeps it, keeps the ball alive in the edge of it. Tony in the corner. Tiernug need to work hard, keep the ball in, penned in. Comes to Ryan O'Neill. Ah, oh, Ryan trips the old Cloney to forward, and there's a free to Cloney. Great play in there by, by Damer Graham to clear his lines. Stephen O'Connell too. There's a lot of experience in this Clooney Gales team as well. Um, a lot of dual players have been about for a long time, have a lot of success in football and hurling. So they'll know yeah. this is early stages. Oh. So James O'Call on the ball, comes out, feeds midfield. Tom McGloan with the effort. The, the Francis Nason captain. 
Puts another one over the bar. I think that was Tom there. I think, I think, I think they're both in green helmets. I think so. That's one, two reasons. to two at the minute. The goal separating the two sides. Ah, uh, oh, stick broke. Oh, <laughs> Kiermi Cohn sweeps up behind in the middle of the pit. It's getting hurt. He seems to be under a little bit of pressure. He needs support. Oh, oh he's found a little bit of space. Oh, I. Puts a ball into the edge of the square. It seems it's going to be edge of the square. Comes. Well, oh, there's a ball live at the edge of the square. Niall Devlin's on the ball. If I can see. Oh, oh he's trying to get around him. Takes a look around. Oh, sprays it out. Very clever. Oh. Con Duffin sprays oh. it across to the young brother, Sean. Great ball. Might have had an effort himself, but a great ball. And, and Sean Duffin point. puts it over the bar with a plum. That is absolutely brilliant play. Very cool play for Niall Devlin and Colm Duffin. Puts it across to his young brother, and it's 1 3 to 2. A lovely, well worked move there by Tiernan Oak. We have an injury problem here to, uh, to Owen Graham. Very important player I for see us. What happened there. I think right, it just it was, it was just a muscle injury. It seems yes. to be. It might be hamstring. Yeah. Um, seems we're getting some treatment there at the minute. Let's hope we can continue. Yeah. Let's hope nobody ever likes to see anybody down in a match. I, uh, I suppose we better use this maybe time, Nigel, to wish everybody or uh, welcome everybody from home. There, it's not able to make the match. Or I know there's maybe some elderly people, probably of both communities, who can't make the match. And I know there's different people who. Uh, would maybe have grand grandsons playing or sons and couldn't make it, so we shout out to everybody there today at Ralston and Absolutely, I know there. Family. I know there are some young men abroad here or what tuning in from uh, Ronan Graham would probably be, be starting the team today from New Zealand, and we have uh, the Maliki Frail over there in Australia, and we have uh, with Chris Scullion all the way over there in Philadelphia. Oh, very, yeah, uh, immigration is. Um, we all know about that now. That's definitely something that we've, we've all been affecting every community. I suppose we know, we know we have Kevin McCann. I think Kevin's in Seattle at the minute, and he definitely would have been. A, I'm sure he's definitely tuning in overseas. So and many more, over. And many more. Those many, just many more. Yeah. Off the top of my head, and uh, Chris's father Bernard was a, was a played along with me. Was a, a very tough corner back, and. Uh, and the ball's coming in, sweeps down. There seems Cloney seem to be getting a lot of breaking ball here in the half back line for um, Tierney. Well, Rollins Town are scrambling well. In. Tony Martin, no. ah, Christie's getting down over it. Oh, oh that'll that's be a free, a free out, out. I would imagine. No, no. Play on. Kieran O'Neill sprays it out to Kieran McKeown. Kieran's got. Oh, there's man overlap. Brilliant play. Oh, oh no, it's a good block. Great from block by Tom McLeon there. Eamon Oaks running for the loose ball. Has pace that's to burn Tom this there. young man. That's Puts a great ball in to Kieran Logan. Ah, oh, Kieran spills it. Covered up by Dermot Graham there. He was well out six. front there. He'll, he'll be disappointed with that. And that's young James McGee. Young Bobby. It's a nice stand up. Yeah. Arm McNeely put good pressure in the middle of the pitch. Oh, great what a brilliant block, block there by Kieran O'Neill. Chairman, son, Kieran. Well done. Yeah. That is first class defending there by Tiernan O'Neill. Kevin Duffin puts a great dangerous ball in the forward line. Again, Dermot Graham sweeps up. Dermot started well here. Cloney, Cloney winning their fair share in the, in the defence. And it seems to be a free out. I think it was Niall Devlin free, uh, made the foul, I'm not sure. Yeah, Dermot seems to be getting a good share of breaking ball in there. It's just going to be needed. The, the, the Cloney forwards are getting very little room here. They're getting um, closed down any time they have the ball. Ternacious, uh, Terry Nog defending. Ball into the corner. James and Daniel... One of the two Martin brothers in defence. Neighbours of mine from up north, Maher Lane Road. Two young, strong men, very, very capable herders. And I know their father, mother and Tony, and they will be here looking a big family connection out to see them today. Terry Nogue looking to go short to the keeper, but no, just uh, never been a... That was a good choice. I wouldn't be a fan uh, of that myself. No, no, I definitely <laughs> wouldn't be a fan of that. OK, ball isn't great. Kieran O'Neill has wins it in the back line. He's got the head up, he's looking around. He's looking for McNeely. He plays a quick ball in the four line. Niall Devlin seems to be a bit of a breeze falling towards. Sean oh. Duffin has it, or Colm has it. And Colm sticks it over the bar. Another point. That is first class play. That's 1 3 to 2. I think that's 1 4. 1 4 to 2. I was being hopeful more than anything there. 1 4. David. I make it 1 4 to 2 now, but. I think I was we have never very good at keeping score during matches. I think we have a substitution here, and an uh, early it, looks, sub. it looks like Owen Graham hasn't shut off that injury, and that seems to be a big Boris. It's a big Neil O'Connell that's coming into play. Certainly not weakening the team by any manner. I mean, early change for Cloney, as Nigel said. Thanks for that. And again, Nigel. Neil straight into the action. Okay, Owen Neeson uh, wins a breaking ball. Ball edge of the school. It looks dangerous. Scum's going to let it go wide. No, well done. Big Boris having an immediate impact there. 
again we're, we're probably running into uh, halfway through this first half Evan Oaks winning a lot of ball in this three quarter line full of confidence that's, that's Joe Manzi takes off down the, down the sideline nobody and seems to be it. able to catch him in the minute he's run 30 yards he's going still he's still going through uh, and he's put it in over the bar Eamon Oak McAllister with a fantastic score great pace composure a fantastic athlete soccer Gaelic Hurling, this man has it all and he's definitely put, turned it on today in this intermediate final. It's not pleasing me to see it, but you have to give credit where it's due. Getting into PJ here in full forward. PJ's Great a again. danger man for Clooney. Want the need to want to get him on the ball. Yeah. Sprague and Kevin Duffin. Kevin Duffin comes out with the ball as he did in that semi-final. And the ball's cleared by Ryan O'Neill. Kieran Logan holds it this time and has a chance to go around him. And he's away. He is burning through the middle of that pitch. And has it puts it That's over the another ball. Score. This is a real purple patch for Tiernan Oak. Real purple patch. We're playing some fantastic hurling here. First water break. Yeah, we think that's 1 6 to, to 2 points. A fantastic. One, six to two points. First 15 minutes there by Tiernan Oak, as it pains me to say. Um, but like he's. Like the, <laughs> the cat that got the cream here beside me. Uh, we both know Nigel, we've been watching these games too long, it's never over after the first 15 minutes. Uh, Tierno definitely started after after a, a, after a very promising opening by Cloney, who seemed to have all the ball. Uh, Tierno seemed to ramp it up in the last uh, 10 minutes there and uh, really turned it on. Uh, Eamon Oak seems to be causing lots of problems. I think uh, the noticeable about the Tierno Oak team is, is their speed uh, and, their, and their composure on the ball. A uh, great point taken. Um, not panicking. So I uh, don't want to over hype the Ramos Town team. I, I know the, the Cloney Gales will will get their their niche in this game and uh, will cause threats. At the minute now, you have to admit that uh, Tiernan Oak are definitely the better team. Yes, Tiernan Oak will definitely be uh, happy with that, and uh, they'll be speaking to them, you know, to try to keep to keep the scoreboard ticking. But uh, as well, we know Cloney Gales are a team that never give up, or a team who will keep coming back and. I'm sure this is going to be a, fant a fantastic final because it's brilliant 15 minutes. It was, it was very good 15 minutes there. Um, we all know goals can be like an impact. Two quick goals can change uh, a game very quickly in, in either direction. And uh, I say the uh, JP, the management team look pleased, but they're very focused. And I know this is very early in the game. So the 15 minutes gone, one six to two points. That's, that's like. Uh, the far side's a sea of red, and this near side here is a sea of blue. The, the, the supporters are definitely segregated today. Near the two today. shall meet, Nigel, isn't that right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well taken up by is that Francis Neeson. That in is Tom McGlone in the middle. Um, maybe not Sees the best ball, here. but Tom. Sean's putting pressure on Big Boris, who's just come in, just before the, the first whistle. Daniel's putting in great pressure. And Daniel Martin still on the ball. Cloney are picking up the loose ball here. Oh, great, oh, excellent great block. block by Keeving Duffin. Great defending, trying to keep him out wide. Another block by Keeving Duffin. And the boys are all defensive. Another They're block. hooked down. Another hook. One of the great Nothing skills Nothing easy the in this championship like final PJ. here today, folks. Definitely not. Cloney are getting a foothold of this here. Down the sideline. That's, oh, that's a fantastic a score, score now. Yes. It's far over the far side. I'm struggling to see who that was. I think that was Owen Neeson. Was it? There's a, there's a lot of green helmets in show here today, which isn't yes. helping our cause. Well, I thought that was a black helmet, Nigel, so was between it? the two of us, I'm not <laughs> sure. But I think Owen Neeson, I know Owen, uh, Owen used to go to St. Benedict's in Ralstown. He was a great hurler there and, uh, and and a good pupil, I have to add, as well. So uh, he didn't do himself any any harm by putting that over the bar. Great score, which is exactly what Tony needed, straight off that first water break. Now, this, these helmets now are a new thing. Now, there was no helmets when, when, when we yeah, were playing. And that was it. And uh, you had the likes of Big Joe running about in the middle of the field, and uh, maybe Big Tommy Devlin. Tried to get out of his way. <laughs> <I'll have to laughs> they didn't go around people, just went through them, if I can remember. <laughs> now. I've, I've still got a few scars from playing a hall in the Grahams and. Uh, and the and Connells and McGee's and all. Oh, uh, I'm surprised they weren't made compulsory just the minute Joe took to a hurling field. But. Ball uh, coming in. Okay. A great competitor he was. Uh, and Okay, don't, oh, does, Daniel doesn't want to let him pass. Okay, it's got a little bit scrappy over the far end, but Keevin Duffin is over on the ball. Oh, and this looks dangerous. This looks dangerous. Praise it, ball. Oh, oh. 
Arm McNeely's coming in to sweep it up in defence. Young Dan O'Neill nearly took it. Aaron's a very fit young athlete, excellent hurler and footballer, and a brilliant ball into that forward line. And Tony Gale's out in the front. Eamon Oak trying to put a bit, a bit of pressure on the ball, That's goes it. out over the sideline. No, didn't go over the sideline. Cloney seen there come out Game with a bit it, of leaves it, leaves it in. Trying to look for James, looking for James to call all the time. PJ's PJ on, on the ball. Okay. Again, not getting much time. Definitely the the tackling and ferocious here in the Tyrone defence. Very strong tackling and defence there. They know PJ O'Connell's a danger man, and they know that they have to, to just to crush him up and try not get him time in the ball. Okay, a ball's batted down by the Cloney centre half. Diagonal so ball into the corner. Ryan and Lee's team man, for here. We burst the speed there. Past. Seems to be a free end to Cloney. Again, our, our vision here is, is, is not good with the, with the spectators. Say, yes. Now, well, we couldn't see that, but the referee has uh, signalled for a free end for, I think, pulling down the jersey. You'll just have to make your own mind up. A great decision there, even though I couldn't <laughs> see Terrible it. Terrible decision. <laughs> no, not at all. We're not biased, Nigel. <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> we're trying not I, to be biased. I, I don't care who wins as long as it's the men in red. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I, I'm just totally the opposite. <laughs> but anyway, that's. Well, I agree to disagree, and that, that, that's, that's what it's all about. It's a bit of fun and a uh, bit of pride. And this, this was a sort of a, a last minute appointment here. Um, hadn't time to do research, and I, I know very much, so just been thrown at the deep end here, really. Me and you both, Nigel. <laughs> Is that a point that seems to be over? Another it is. Point. There's two quick points after the. That was James O'Connell there with a, a, from a tight angle. So that will settle Connell, James. Yeah, James will need that there because he'll be happy he missed, after missing a couple there at the start. Again, would the, would the breeze be favouring Ramos Town slightly? Slightly, very I would slightly. say that. It does seem to be going into that corner slightly. I don't know either. how much of effect it would have now, yes. but it's, it's definitely. Forrest seems to be pulled back there to give extra help in that defence after. Uh, so he's looking for the, the, the long pop out from Scalper. A mighty high ball there. Forrest seems to be coming in underneath it. Ah. Seems to have read that well. That's Here that's we'll maybe have to maybe. Well that's excellent work, mate. Eamon Oak. Boris kicks it down to Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill gets a head up, gets a great diagonal ball into uh, oh, Kieran Logan. Kieran Logan has a chance to go around this. Ah, get it over, get it over. That's ah, it. Kieran O'Neill needed that score. score. Great score. Boris done all the hard work there, one on the ball. It was good positional play, um, but great hooking again to, to turn the ball over. Ryan O'Neill did excellent there. Looking at a great play for anybody watching the home a young kid that didn't get a ticket for the match. Get the, get your head up and get that ball spread and diagonal into that forward oh. line. That's oh. oh, comes through him. Ryan O'Neill, oh. yes, I was definitely looked like a foul. Definitely looked like a foul. Oh, good pop out there from Martin Graham. Martin's been transferred into the nets now. And possession he's made his own has impressed all season. Yeah, I think I actually taught Martin that St. Patrick's and Ballymena, Martin would be the same age as young Joe, Joe Downey. Yes, yes I taught both of them at St. Patrick's nearly 20 years ago. Great, great hurlers they were. I think they won an Ulster Championship at that time with young fellas from Glenarf. They did indeed. You, you don't look that age, like you, to be honest. Thanks. Thanks. Good you know, job. There's a few good years job. My face isn't on Facebook. <laughs> there's a few years between us now. Ah. Uh, mine too. Uh, I have a face definitely made for radio. Ah, uh, well, uh, me you <laughs> But no, quite a lot of these boys would know each other from, uh, well, obviously uh, rivals and playing different clubs. But at school, a lot of them would go to St. Louis together and would uh, play at colleges. I know Sean Duffin in St. Louis uh, got to an All Ireland final with a few of these boys. That looks good from James. Looks good. And James, yes, the umpire raises the white flag. So again, that's uh, one seven to five by my one record. Seven to five is what I make it. Yes, we'll get clarification in a few minutes. Quick puck out again by Scamper. Cloney mm -hmm. running a few balls centre. Oh. It seems to be running. Oh, you got away with Owen. that. Owen done all the hard work. Kevin Duffin. Oh, well done, Kieran Logan. Oh, yes. that's no foul. You need to get up. Francis Back Leeson. up, Alec. Oh. Good pressure here from the Tyrone Oaks. Seems to be hunting them packs. Well in, Kevin Duffin. Oh, oh, sweep across for Sean. Yeah, oh, he gives a free. Gives a free. The side, getting a little bit noisy with our side, but uh, I might would say it definitely probably just might even have been a free 25 years ago. That uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think the referee's actually playing the game very well there now, and he's letting it go, but at the same time, he's not blowing up uh, you know, too many. Well, a sign of a good referee is when you don't notice him, really. That's right, and, uh, that's right. To be honest, I think he's had a very good start, but as long as he keeps giving us frees, I mean, I'll keep praising him. Uh, not too many, no, no, not too many. Again, James O'Connell comes out the field. A bit, a bit longer. 
this one. This should be his range, I would say now. I would say James has got his. Has he got the distance? Has he got it? He has he indeed. Has yes. indeed. So James has found his range. Pitch. So Randall's Town know now that they give away freeze. The chances are that James is going to punish them. 1 7 to 6. Seems to be that uh, Clooney have come out strong in this second period of the first half. And oh, well taken by Sean Duffin. Takes a hit, puts pass. another diagonal ball in the corner. Seems to be a sea of red and blue, a red and Young. black at the back. Young now Bobby McGee clears up there. Be putting easy freeze out. Oh. Oh. Eamon Oaks putting a bit of pressure on. Cloney aren't getting the ball in defence just yet. Seems a bit cool under pressure. Kieran McEwen's trying to pounce on it. Gets the ball, Kieran has got pace to burn. Oh, great skill by the young fella from the drum Street Road. Oh, puts an effort in. Looks like it's gone that's tail wide. Well hassled by, by young Bobby McGee there in cornerback. Of course, his father, Seamus, was uh, part of the 1989 Championship, Junior Championship winning team. And Seamus was, was known as a great ground hurler. And mostly because he left uh, his opponents on the ground, I think, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Oh, I went with the front. Oh, but, uh, lucky uh, Kieran. Very good at the ground. Kieran will want to recover from that. Good man, Kieran O'Neill, son mm. of the chairman, Desi. And Sharon, both very, very proud parents today. Got two children and two championship finals today. And there's a point that's up and it's high. Ah. Is it wide? It looks to be going wide. Just a wide ball. Oh. Wide. Umpire One. thought about it. Oh, the referee has given the has given advantage and given a oh, free in. A free in. I thought that was soft, but... I might be biased. Well, I'm going to be honest here and plead the, the Arsene Wenger approach here now. You didn't I didn't see it. I didn't see it. <laughs> but I think we'll, we'll take everything we get at this stage. To be honest. This uh, would, with James McCall, I'm sure we'll put, stick this between the uprights and that will bring the game to a three point game. James, excellent technique, looks over the ball, and sticks the, it over. The cheers from the far side will tell you that that uh, had to split the post and if we have a goal in it. And I think the Saffron Gale actually, if anybody didn't get a chance to see it or online, it said this gave a game of two, the battle of the free takers and Curly McAwain hasn't been too far wrong so far. Okay, Cloney Gales. And PJ, that's well, it. And well the Christy Sheeran showing great strength. Oh, 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 great hook. Takes a swipe at it but doesn't. Ryan O'Neill under severe pressure. Four oh. Cloney men underneath it. Very hot. And the ball back here at the minute. Puts a ball in. Scamper's thinking about it. Oh, oh, wants, oh. To keep, wants to keep James a call oh, out. James. Red and black yeah. men coming through the middle. And that's a score, isn't ah, it? That's a great point. Score. A great point. Cloney definitely back in this game now. Um, and uh, I'll say it's been hot and heavy, but played very sporting manner so far. Very much so, very much so. Um, Cloney has definitely have come out very strong in this second half of the first half. Oh, that looked uh, like that a foul. Yes, yes. That looked like a foul. Yes, like a foul to I me. don't think he can complain about that now. He was seen over the just, back of him. Just seen just pull a, or just pull across. Nothing much in it, but just he was impeded. And uh, the referee has signaled for Tier No Free. And that's just what Tier No Nig after that uh, barrage of points there from uh, Cloney. Just uh, uh, definitely, were, definitely were under, uh, under the cosh. And, uh, and that's what we know, that's what Cloney's going to do. That's It's going to be a ding-dong affair. Yeah, I say a lot of experience in the, in the Cloney team down through the years. That team's been together a long time for football and hurling. There's Eddie Higgins doing a great job. Physio, Eddie's been doing physio for a long time for Tierno. I oh, much appreciate all the people who give up their time to help with every team. That's Sean Duffin. Another like great, James. Another great battle, of the, battle of the free tangers splits the uprights and uh, makes it. 1 8 and north, the three point game, 1 8 to 8. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, the points going over all over here, it's hard to keep. It's, uh, if we uh, okay. wouldn't have to hold these uh, these big hats here that we're talking into, we might be able to keep the score better. <laughs> okay, sideline signal down towards Tiernanog. Tiernanog, I want to. These are crucial few minutes heading into the break. Nicky, um, Very much so nice a goal him. or a couple of points here could, could really set it up for the second half for either team. Oh, that's a powerful uh, sideline in the corner from Kieran Logan. He's coming out. Uh, uh, doesn't Boris is uh, too physical for him there. Pushes him out of the way. Oh, the ball, high ball up there. It's Cloney are getting the, these breaking balls and putting good. Great, excellent pressure. Oh, excellent it. pressure. pressure. Sprays a lot of uh, ball across the line. Oh, oh James Collins spills it. Or PGL want to get it. this. Oh, lovely pick up. Touch of oh, class. Kieran, yeah. 
Kieran Lille puts a bit of pressure on and it drops mm. to Christy Sheeran who oh. misses the pick up but he gets oh, it up oh he gets a free I seemed to fall there and maybe he was fouled after he fell I, but he, he, he fell of his I own I think we were fortunate with that but perhaps uh, he fell of his he own velocity got there under. I think but maybe there was something the referee seen yes, after he fell yes uh, we're just glad to see that ball being put out I, I think he, he, if he hadn't have uh, got the free there he might have done a wee bit of pressure maybe. Brilliant free from Scumper into that corner. Looking for Imanog every time. Oh, and the young man goes up for it. Okay, spills it and collects it. Puts it out to Arne McNeely. Arne McNeely, strong running through the middle. Sprays it out oh. across to Kieran Logan. Oh, Kieran. Touch was heavy. Damn it. And Cluny r r support each other. Thought that was a throw ball, but <laughs> no, balls no, thankfully it was. the ball, that's not going to go to anybody. Uh, it drops to Kevin Sheeran. Kevin Sheeran drives it back down Cluny's throat. Great into the distance corner. on that. Oh, too high for uh, Imanog this time. We have Bobby. Oh, yeah, no, gets Bobby's, it. Bobby's oh. lost it. Trying to get it up under control. Oh, oh superb piece of skill by Yemen Oak McAllister. Oh. Ball, dangerous ball coming in. Oh, it's dropped, it's Colin dropped. The it. Ah, it's coming out. Is that Bernard Graham clearing his lines there in the end? It's end to end stuff here at the minute. Big Boris and, oh, well done, Keeping Duffin. Just gets a, clears the ball out this sideline. Owen seems to be taking a few steps. Hand pass across. Oh, that's a nice piece of skill. Wide, Unlucky, wide ball would have been a lovely score, but that's just crucial um, last couple of minutes. For Oak, James wasn't able to convert. If that if that was meant up there by Eamon Oak, that was a beautiful piece of skill oh, there. I'm sure you oh, seen that, it. I, I did see it yeah. there, and, I, and it was deliberate. It was now, the deliberate. man has got just he, he's got class, some skill. He definitely has everything. Beautiful, beautiful touch of skill there. Clonier, like Bobby the again, clears the ball. Bobby uh, certainly making the ball. Oh well, taken Christy Sheeran brings it to all. Keeping drops a shoulder. Spills it or gives it across to R. McNeely. R. McNeely Not is a very strong, strong runner, running him. through the middle. Oh, he's leaving the Cloney men in this week. He is. Sean Duffin should put that over the bar. Ah, oh, that is superb yes. play from the fence. Absolutely superb play by Keeping Duffin. A crucial score there, coming up to the half. R. McNeely set that up for Sean Duffin, who just split the uprights to put four between them. Four between the two teams. Yeah. High ball down the middle. Keeving, it's dropping. Ryan O'Neill's in round the house. Spills oh, out towards. He's got it. Was that a free? Francis Neeson has it. Drops it in. Oh, looks dangerous. Scammers well. Good under high ball. Plays it low down to his corner forward. Daniel Martin. Oh, Daniel oh. just misses it. Oh, oh no. doesn't get away with it. Oh, Neeson's on the ball. Oh, he hasn't the distance. No, that's no. going wide. Oh, and just maybe really need a wee bit more composure there. Slightly off balance when he struck it. But. Uh, here, no good off of that one. Yeah. Kevin Sheehan looking for Imanog again this side. Kieran McKeown's going for it. Kieran McKeown. I can't really see. There we are. Cluny yeah, have it again. Bobby does well. And he's being fouled. Yes, and that's free. Excellent play there by James McGee. A little bit argy bargy between Sean McKinley. And nothing comes off it, thankfully. Oh, not much between that. Just a bit of handbags, I would say. Is that Bobby McGee? That that was Bobby. Won that ball there. Uh -huh. That's Bobby. Oh, and that's, uh, a, that's a problem ball into the, the corner. There. Looking for James O'Connell. Doesn't I think they seen the ball? The ball didn't make, didn't return to play. So uh, it's going to be a sideline ball. That's a half and, and a very good half. And Darren Oga definitely shaded it there and with a better team. I think the goal just separating the two teams there is definitely uh, says it all. With that half, it's tit for tat. Two two very close teams. Two very. 198 points. Yeah. Just a confirmation from Jared Rob there. Jared's our scoreboard for the day. Thanks, Jared. Mainly heard he was back in his day. I remember Jared. I think I still have the marks to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't that bad, Nigel. No, he? he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll, we'll get some of these boys down here for about half time entertainment. Yeah. Um, is the band coming out now? No. Uh, where's Cluny Band? <laughs> is Cluny Band out, out today? No. No, they're not out today. No. <laughs> they're temporarily uh, COVID. Ah, uh, that, that's Co right. COVID band. <laughs> okay, we're uh, just about to enjoy the second half of this very exciting intermediate final. I uh, just want to say a shout out to a few people there. My uh, good wife Paula is watching at home with uh, my sons Martin and Orn. Um, and Sarah as well, so I hope they're watching and enjoying the match, cheering us on. They're getting ready for the big Camogie final today. Tiernogar playing uh, Ross in the intermediate final. 
uh, at four o'clock in St Andes. So quite a few brothers and sisters playing in the two different teams. So it's a great day for Allenstown and uh, I'm sure you'll be watching as well, Nigel. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Um, uh, I would always be favouring the country team over the city team. Now that's just been the way it's been for a long time. I make no, no bones about it, excuse yes. the pun. No pun intended. <laughs> and uh, I definitely would wish to know all the best today against Ross. This could be a momentous day for the club. Um, Hurling was very weak in the South West back in the 70s and uh, Tiernan Oog and, 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 and the Hochel, Cloney Gales as are now, were, were two of the, of the bastions of Hurling and thrived through adversity to keep the game going and to get to the very stage for our... Two teams as the ball's yeah. thrown in. Arne McNeely's being pulled back, early free for Tiernan Oog. That's why they'll be very yeah. happy, the, the Roundstown support. Very happy with that, very positive start by young McNeely. His father Orne is a manager of the... Money Glass ladies who have the intermediate football final tomorrow, which will have plenty of young girls from Cloney, I imagine, playing Money Glass. Yes, there's, a, there's quite a few there. I think young uh, Lee Mason, possibly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, okay, Sean Duffin who steps up, sets himself, goes through his routine. Excellent strike of the ball. That's a great Sean strike. Duffin finds his range in the second half. The white flag's raised by the umpire. And it's game on the second half. Do you get the feeling that the wind is just is swirling backwards on itself? Yes, it does seem to be coming a little bit, or definitely over to this side of the pitch, Nigel. Yes, definitely. Jared? One ten. Right, again. I think. So it's uh, one ten to eight. Again, oh, seems to be Kieran has dropped the ball. Kieran McEwen's over it. It's the referee Lock, paying advantage, is it? Certainly, Get if it was a free, it'd have been better given it. Right. And the ball spills out towards Kevin Duffin, tries a lift. Uh, Cloney seemed to have it, seems to have spilled out to the edge. That's a oh, cross field ball, ball across. over to Eamon Brady there. Sean Eamon Duffin a rampaging. Dangerous Half ball, back. and James call doesn't want to let him inside. Wants a left, doesn't let him want to let him inside. James is in, Hold James him is out. in. Hold him out. Oh. Oh, it hits a post, and the ball spills to Daniel Martin. Excellent defending for the sea of bl blue and white shirts as Kevin Duffin takes the ball under control. That Daniel clears the ball down the line, looking for Sean McKinley. Oh, well, well ball blocked down. Strong in the air, aerial challenge. Francis Neeson has it. Hand pass. Hand pass to Owen Neeson, oh, and that is a, a lovely score, score by Owen. Lovely score. Two brothers there, linking well to, to cancel out that early free. And much needed, I, I would say, if Ronald's Town get another few, they might start getting uh, away from us. Phone call there half the time from, uh, from John Devlin there telling me to leave uh, Joe Downey and Seamus McGee alone. So that's uh, duly noted. <laughs> I'm sure that would be the first time you, you, you did what you were told, Nigel. <laughs> yes, and Vincent Martin there, secretary, is, uh, was tireless work, has sent me a message as well there saying it's good that there's some company for this match. This is, well, this is our first intermediate hurling final, so this is a very exciting day for us. So we're, we're delighted yeah. to have it on stream live on Facebook. and. Well, we're hoping we're getting through the commentary all right. So, Yes, it was lastminute.com here for, yes. for both of us. So, um. Scammer puts a very strong high ball into that uh, three-quarter line. Eamon Oak is eyes on the ball. Oh, and the ball spills. A bit of a Tony timing coming together, with it. players. Again, Eamon Brady, origin. And he's hooked well. Just bypasses Kieran O'Neill. James O'Call wants to get past. That's Dan O'Neill, young Dan O'Neill's away. He can certainly motor when he gets going. Oh, and he's and three he's again. Great strong Is one. that a point? And that ball is. Oh, that's gone a fantastic score from Dan O'Neill. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent score. Dummied, meant to take the ball into the hand and dummied and put it over the bar without taking it back into the hand. Excellent score. Sorry, that was young O'Neill, was it? That was Dan O'Neill. That yes. was a very, Daniel. very tidy score for that young man. That was uh, fair play to him. Again, his father, Danny, was an important member of the 89 Championship winning team. It's back to a three-point game as Eamon Oak McAllister wins possession. And there's a very high dense probing ball into that full forward line. Niall Devlin seems in the clock. Oh, oh, and the oh. ball is pulled across. Oh. Niall, Niall Devlin seems to be trying to get under control. And Kieran Logan has it. Turns turns his man. He should put it over the bar. Step. Should put it over, and he puts does. It over the bar. Four point game again. Brilliant score from Kieran Oak. Ah, great work by from Niall Devlin at the edge of the square. Seems to be a cloney man just. Full back Bernard Graham. Who's that, Bernard? Bernard Bernard. I think that's Bernard with a white helmet. Full back. That is Bernard Graham, yes. Just seems to be running Bernard. and shaking off a bit of a. Former a county hurler. Came late to life to the to the county team. But and as the two players sportingly acknowledge each other. 
Oh, oh pick it. Aaron, Aaron thought about it. Francis does well there. Cloney are spraying the ball about here, looking for the danger men in defence or in the forward line. Oh, PG's that, coming out. That. PG's been well shackled today by Christie. Thought Christy it might have been a push in the back, this. but maybe there wasn't much in it. Yes, I think that was uh, PG was trying to get under control and uh, uh, kick the ball. I think the ball had, had crossed the line as uh, the little shove was from Christy Sheehan came in. Again, the, the Ralstown defence given very little. Very little. That, that, that'll be an intriguing battle there today now between Christy Sheeran and uh, PJ. Two fantastic hurlers who have uh, played at very high standard. As the ball oh. comes across to Kieran Logan, Kieran Logan collects it, gets his head up, sprays a very low ball into the corner to Niall Devlin. Niall Devlin is just trying to get under, puts pressure on the Cloney defence. Is that, is that Stephen Lacall drawing the free uh, there? Ah, Stephen Lacall, very. Looks like Stephen, it is Stephen, number very two. Very cute, very cute player. Been a long, very experienced, knows what he's at. And the ball sprayed across. Yeah, that should be Kieran McEwen. Again, get to that. A little bit of movement up front. Sean McKinley's taking a look. Kieran McEwen's running. A very him. strong run of the ball. Very similar to Young O'Neill there a few minutes ago. He's got back up in the back door. With Sean Martin. Duffin. Sean Duffin takes a hit. And. That's a oh, and the power says it's good. It's a turn and off crowd. Left to their feet. Absolutely brilliant score and great strong running from Kieran McEwen. Shea and uh, Ryan and Hugh will maybe be uh, looking to their bench here to see maybe a bit making changes. Very, uh, very young bench, lots of talent, very young. High ball into the middle of the half back line. Oh, low, 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 low dangerous ball in the James a call. Good Daniel draw. putting excellent pressure onto him. Da That's no, no foul. Try to no foul. James a call's trying to get over it. He's on his knees. That's, that's Can't seem to get the ball up. I think the referee might ah, need to give it. In oh. a bit of a ruck, seems oh. to spill out towards PJ. PJ, PJ tries on the ground. Tries it, it's, not gonna, it. it's not going to defe defeat okay. uh, Blue Defence. On the ah. back, that's a free every day of the week. Every day of the week. Francis Neeson went through the back of Sean Duffin there. Sean felt that. Both players determined for the ball, but it's a free towards Sean, and Sean's just received some treatment. No real dirt in it, but it just Sean just felt the impact of that. I can see Shane yeah. Donnelly warming up in the sideline as Tiernook perhaps are thinking of making a change. There's a sub for Tiernook. Sub Oak. is coming on. Shane Donnelly, is Shane Donnelly on for Sean McKinley? Looks to be that way. Yeah, Sean McKinley as a crowd acknowledge Sean's participation. Fine young hurler, ex St. Benedict's. As Shane Donnelly and his... Uh, Mark get to know each other as soon as you walk onto the pitch. Okay, Kevin Sheeran's come Good out Good round of applause there. 30 yard line to hit this free. Sprays a diagonal ball across. The Kieran Logan, or Eamon, Eamon Oak, oh, goes up for it. Misses it. Oh. Oh. Ball spilling. Oh. Cloney Gale's coming out with this ball in the half back line again. Is that fun bar there? Oh, no. I'll be disappointed no. now. That was a, a ball around the nails all day long. Oh, oh short ball. Again, oh, Ralston seem to be first to every ball oh, here at the lovely. moment. Oh, lovely. Keeving sidesteps around, plays the ball out to Kieran O'Neill. Kieran O'Neill looks around the back door. Well that looked like a free to me, but the referee goal. says play on. Have Looking we? for a short ball in oh, that forward line. Oh, very PJ strong defend by Young Sheeran. Christy Sheeran, oh, brilliant yeah. second ball play. Christy Sheeran determined today. He's not. Oh, oh he, well blocked by PJ. What a battle this is. Looking for an inspirational clearance from defence. This is a dangerous play from Cloney. Is that James O'Connell? No, it's uh it's Strikes a far one. Out. Well, it's trying defence, appreciate the way. Again, a great full back play there, and I have to say. Ah, that was very that strong now. Both players just determined, giving it everything, that's all you can ask. James O'Connell, very dangerous edge, edge that's really? where uh, we know that's one of Tony's very short puck out to Daniel Martin from Scamper. Plays Another a short ball. Very tidy play. Seemed to be a feature of the play from St John's and Lockheel. Sean Duffin has the ball in the middle of the pitch. Oh, that is looks that good. That is looks that good. A Does that look? And score. the white flag is being raised. That's another excellent score from Sean Duffin. They're on those town supporters, and uh, understandably, up. Okay. Understandably delighted. I think that makes six between it at the minute, Mickey. Would that be right? We'll I have a feeling there's I have a feeling there's six between the teams. Six in it at the yeah, minute. Confirmed six points As in Kieran it. McEwen goes on another strong run through the middle of the defence. Running right through it. Oh, he's well done. 
Oh, and he's got the Pull free. Pull back and the free. The referee gives the free. <laughs> this will be seven, isn't it, when this goes over? A, I think Cloney definitely need to start making changes, whether it be off the bench or positional. Yes, it does seem to be a strong, strong opening in the second half from Ternanog. Uh, again, the breeze does. If, if it was slightly favouring Ternanog, it seems to be slightly favouring them again in this half. Aye, well, uh, it's God, very uh, slight. God, uh, everything seems to be going our way at the minute there now. The uh, I wouldn't, but it, it wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be the reason for the current scoreline between the teams now at all. And this to make it seven between the two teams. Sean Duffin goes through his usual routine. Lifts it, strikes it. White flag raised again. Well done, Sean Duffin. So we think that's a seven point game. This game is far from over. Both sets of teams will know that. We, we must be getting close to the, to the second water break. Might come sooner rather than later for It's a very for strong uh, high ball into the Cloney full uh, three quarter line. Support play, and that looks as if it's going to drop around the edge of the square. Very dangerous. Oh, oh and Kevin Sheeran plucks it out of the air. First class play, play plays it out there. Captain Ryan O'Neill. Oh. Ryan O'Neill wants to get this ball out of defence. Plays it down the line. Great ball down the line to Eamon Oak. Eamon Oak, oh, oh, a little bit slack. Oh, Kieran, oh, excellent work from Kieran McKeown. He'll get, de get a depth. Seems to be a free. And there seems no. to be a sideline ball side to Tiernanog. Might have been a stick in there. Number nine. Good strong having a great game He's in there. Uh, Kieran McKeown is having an excellent game today. Very strong runner. Fit as a fiddle. And, he, and these boys are well conditioned. They're, they're mentors, James McVeigh and JP and Robert and Leo have, have the Tiernanog team in prime condition as the ball's played across. Yeah. Oh, very slack there. Def Tiern or Cloney. Hit that ball, there's a lot of space in front of James O'Connell. He looks as if James he wants this ball. Fantastically to win that. Plays it out. Oh, nice oh. sidestep. Is he going to draw this the man looks in? Dangerous. Oh. There's only two. And a free in for Tiernanog. I'd be happy, when, happy enough with that, to be yeah, honest. We could, could have been away there. But there, was a, there was a spare man there. He's just stumbled at the last minute. Definitely but there was, was a man over there, Nigel. Yeah, I think. I, I didn't see what happened with the free there, but uh, the referee is signalled. Again, I think we should mention the referee is. is Having a very good game. Oh, excellent game, I have to say. Both sides, nobody can give any complaints. Too often we're, we're, we're very sore in referees and we get yeah. too much abuse, but That's I think true. credit where it's due at times. Six point, point game, there's a white flag. White flag raised. And Cloney needed that to steady them now, and they, they need the next couple as well to get a foothold in the game. Kevin Shear surveying all in front of him here to they're see who's making the runs. They're definitely second best to, to, to every ball at the minute. Chooses so Sean just step Duffin's wing. Sean Duffin collects the ball. Sean on the county panel. Had a bad injury the last couple of years, but seems to be very strong this year. Niall Devlin out in front. Plays it heavy. Eamon Brady sweeping up again. Do they haven't that much time, Eamon? Well done, well cleared. Connell again. Oh, excellent corner back play there by Tony Martin. Oh, well. that looked like a free to me. No, I don't know. I think he got the ball. I play think he got the ball. And oh, that's well weighed. Well weighed. Tierno he lunged, still, he lunged still in, but I think he got the ball maybe, but the follow yeah. through. If you say so, Nigel, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> no, he seems uh, accidental coming together, players there. It seems if he's maybe caught, maybe just caught him in his ankle. He's going to receive some treatment from Leo, or sorry, from, uh, from Eddie Higgins, physio. I'm sure it's thankfully, very, uh, very close. Thankfully, the physios have been underused today. Very much so, very much so. I have to give a shout out to Rachel Neeson there. Rachel was over with us. I uh, know Rachel very well from uh, taking the uh, the minor county team there. Uh, just before the lockdown, the COVID lockdown, Rachel's a great GA woman who's involved in I don't know how many teams, but uh, she was over and she was the one who uh, was able to get Nigel uh, involved in this company today. Yeah, thanks, Rachel. Really appreciate that. <laughs> She's run away now. We told her to stay, but she didn't seem to. Want to stay? Well, she, she sent uh, John Paul. And we see a couple of fans work. here. We can't see. They're, they're waving over Katie Bones and Neve McKinley, Susan Shannon, Cara Bones, and Emma Gartside smiling. They're all set for two finals today. <laughs> Scummer's <laughs> taking a look around. Oh, plays a short That's half a to the half back ball. line under pressure. Kieran O'Neill oh. spells it, does not want to do that. Kieran wants to win that ball. Oh, jeez. That's. Are we away Dangerous here? Are we away? As Peter, oh no, he goes no, for the point, does he? James punishes, punishes Takes that. Takes the point. Great play, great hassling there. Can't be disappointed with that. Cloney need to really, really need to get the next score, next couple of scores here to keep in the game. 
Anybody can make a mistake. That's how he reacts now. High ball in. Colum Duffins out in the three quarter line. Okay. Kieran's in. Pressurising. Good man, Kieran O'Neill. Pressurising the Tony defence. No fouls. No fouls. That's good, Hassan. He gets the free. Oh, and referee Plays signals for it. Might have been a bit soft now, but we'll definitely oh, take I that. I thought that was soft. I did think that was soft, but a few of the Rallow Town uh, support didn't appreciate that one. But whatever the referee calls, not going to change his mind now. And Barney to descend this long. Seems to be a five point game. Mm -hmm. Double a run. Oh, a dangerous looking ball, ball into the edge of the square. Critic Sheeran has his oh, eye on it, and PJ pulls on, on it, and it's dropped around the edge of the go square. Anyway. Hold on it. A very dangerous moments here with the Tiernog defence. Comes out to the side. And that man, Kieran McKeown again. Strong runner of the ball. Can't take it in his hand. Ah, oh, plays it off the stick. Superbly. Shane. Oh, well done, young animal. Shane Donnelly. Oh, one handed superb play by Shane Donnelly. Shane. Sean Duffin plays the ball in the forward line. Very dangerous ball. Boris seems Boris to pick this ball again. up. And I, uh, Sprays it Sean now. Duffin's live to it. He seems to be, he's against We have that. men over Sends here if he wants. They've worked that nicely now. They're finding men here, looking for PJ and James up, up front. And Young O'Neill. Young O'Neill tries, oh, he took about three or four turns there. Christy will have, That's oh, good, good defend block. by Christy Sheehan. Brilliant, oh, lovely play by Daniel Martin. Great touch of the stick as he plays the ball in. Kieran Logan and Boris are fighting for the ball. Oh. Shane Donnelly winning don't a lot of balls as he come on. Morris. Shane Donnelly, one of the best players in the last 20 years at Tiernan Oak. Puts the ball in. And Eamon Logan expels. And it's oh, it's a good save oh, by Martin Graham. Save by Martin, Martin Graham takes a save. I think it was Kieran Logan who... Uh, Martin, Martin queries the, the umpire's decision. So clarifications, 114 to 12 points. If... Uh, it's five points as uh, 65 is to be taken by Sean Duff. That Shimozo there in the, in the Tyrannog box could have went the other way. Uh, I think. Yes, I, I, I did think that was dropping, and so it was a very good save by the Martin Graham there. He stood his ground very oh, strong. Yeah. And, uh, and it was end to end, yes, in the other end too. Um, I think the words of the, of the great fonts, like you need something, need to pull the ball there. Yes, I think the, the, the ball had just dropped around the edge of the square. Sean Duff. I think Fonsey was, was instrumental in, in getting hurling up and running in the, uh, in the south west. A great hurling man. And that's that the point, Fonse Agnew. Oh, brilliant, Fonse yes, I think Agnew's A good point there, another excellent makes 70. Makes it 115 to 12. Again, oh, that the seems to be the water break. break. Water so there's break. still 15 minutes left so here. That was so. a championship quarter, the third quarter is always known as a championship quarter. So that's 115 to 12 points. Turn it over, so that's a, it's a six point game. But we know in this game that anything can happen. And Cloney will, are certainly not out of this game yet. They're not out of it, but they, they definitely would need to, to, to pull their socks up a wee bit. But, um, but these men have given everything for a long number of years. They owe us nothing, uh, and uh, they'll, they'll leave everything out in that pitch. Yeah. They've been great ambassadors for our club and yeah. continue to be, both on and off the pitch. Great admiration for this bunch of men. Uh, likewise, Tierney, we, we, I think we definitely feel as if we owe uh, Cloney at one <coughs> down in Craigan. I don't know what year that was, that was maybe... What year yes. was a good run in the... In that the was 2013, possibly. 2013, that's right, when they uh, won the championship. Uh, we were beating Cloney Gales in the last... We were winning by two points in the last couple of minutes. And PJ put one in the back of the net, which, which absolutely destroyed us. But uh, that's what championship's all about, the final whistle. And Cloney went on to all, all Iron final that year. A semi-final. Semi-final that year. Final, and uh, won the full Ulster. credit to them. That's went on a good run, a, a tough run. And PJ, I think, was instrumental in the whole run, scored yeah. goals. Left, right, and centre. PJ Cole, great, great player for Antrim. Another former county hurler. The Rawls Town, the Rawls Town uh, fans here are very pleased, shouting their team on. They can feel, they can sense victory in the air here. They're definitely up for the fight. The Rawls Town supporters here, metaphorically, of course. They can sense yeah. it. They know that this is their game to lose here. They're six points up, 15 minutes to play. They have driven the, their their team on today. The supporters, while staying within the. The bounds of decency. That's it, it is indeed. And there's a helicopter there. Hopefully that's maybe an aerial view, is it, Nigel? It 
Not sure. Um, Somebody's getting a better view than us. <laughs> yeah, well, as I say, our, our views at times are, are inhibited, but we're doing our best. Martin today. Graham puts a dangerous ball in. Oh. It's dropping around. the Oh, well played, Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill picks the ball up, hand the back, plays it out. Oh. Bernard Graham shows a turn of pace there. Can I give it inside to Bobby? And that's Conor Fitzgerald. The sub substitute was made at, uh, at the water break. And that's young Conor Fitzgerald. Great ball by Bobby. Switches it over Son to Dermot Graham. Oh, that's a very Is strong a effort. Point? And no, it looks like no. it's going to tail wide. It tails wide. Much to the delight of the Tiernog <laughs> fans. But that was a, a good effort nonetheless. It's a beautiful strike of the ball, but it just tailed wide. Scamper's looking for Sean Duffin for that big pocket of space in front of him. Sean Duffin battling mm -hmm. for the ball on, well played, lovely sidestep. Again. The stick is in, Orrin McNeely swipes and misses. Again, that wee touch, Put fighting for every ball. That's a dangerous ball in the forward lane. He's been an awful lot of space. They want to keep out. Christy Sheeran oh. will not let him pass. Easy. And he oh, oh well, that's, that's a free, that's a free in. And, and Ryan O'Neill gives away the first, free. That may be the first card of the day, would that be right in saying? Uh, well, he is definitely giving him attention. Um, I'd say he might take him, I'm not sure. Yeah, there maybe wasn't a lot on it, but it was definitely uh, a cynical. Uh, it definitely was a cynical, it definitely did. He wasn't letting, he, did, he definitely wasn't getting past. Shows a yellow card to Ryan O'Neill. First yellow of the day, which, which speaks volumes for it the does, spirit. Does it, the the game spirit of the played. game has been, has been sporting on both sides. Uh, full blooded and full throttle here, but uh, nobody wants to lie down. Oh, referee, little look. Oh, James sticks it over the bar. In Ramos Town defence there seemed to be pointing at something, but. James unperturbed, sticks it over the bar. 115 to, to 13. A, leave a five point game. They're still in the melting pot here, but as I say, Cloney definitely Scammer need the next couple of the scores. Side of the pitch, a young O.M. and Old McAllister. Not winning as much ball as he did in the first 15. That's a Randall's Town sideline. Sideline ball. Sean Duffin put an absolute clinker sideline ball over down in Lockheed last week. Probably a little bit outside his range, but the, it was an inspirational score last week. And it'd be great if he could put one in here at the edge of the square. He'll have plenty of belief, this young man, Sean Duffin. Not one of and the best teams. Oh, and the again. And it spills here, Kieran Logan. The ball's not there, that's the finch yet. Boris spills it. Shane Donnelly sees. Oh, they were very lucky to get a free it. there. I don't know oh. what's that, what that's for. And uh, Shane Donnelly is, has won a free, or Kieran Logan, I'm not sure, but Shane Donnelly has the ball in his hand. And he's not part with it. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, he's so, it Cloney, forward, so. Cloney. Oh, he's going to two men, oh, yes, two for men. retaliation. The Turn Oak fans will be uh, appreciating that. This could be getting hot and heavy. A few bit of timber being laid in. I thought Even that was Oak a good needs. shoulder now. Uh, but no. Eamon Oak's lucky, I think, with that free. Physical, but he had the ball under control, so the referee has given him the benefit of the doubt. And Temperature's he's off definitely feet. raising a notch here, but he only had a chance there or two to get that ball away and didn't. When you have that ball in, in under control in your hand, I'll tell you what, that's very difficult. And they say one, the only way they can do it is get off you is by dropping it or, or by uh, giving away a free. So Eamon Oak perhaps uses a bit of experience there to win that free. I, 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 thought, I thought it might have been... Um, Shoulder to shoulder, but uh, instead of chest, but my chest is brave size, so I never get confused about <laughs> that. And a mighty score by Sean Duffin. No mistake. It to a six point game. Right, if Tony are going to do him, they need to make the, the step now. It might be time to try and. Martin Graham pumps a high time. ball down the middle of the, the pitch. And it spills Sean Duffin. Oh, it's over. Oh. That looked like more like a free to me, yeah. but uh, the referee waves play on. As Kiwi Ramos Duffin sprays it out. Eamon Logan, and there's a, there's a play on here. Kieran Logan has acres of space. Oh, and he decides to oh. stick it over the bar. Over the bar makes it uh, a three score game as such. Hey, if Seven I points kill, a goal might have been on there, but Kieran opted to stick it over the bar. It's probably the best option at this Personally, stage. I of the think game. that was probably the best option. And a high, high dropping ball. And Keeving Duffin, it, or is that Ryan O'Neill? Ryan O'Neill collects it in the middle of there. And there's a lot of ball. Oh, geez, if Kieran Logan could have found David Ogie is away. Oh. And Fitzy still is over it. Boris is winning this ball. And he's Con Conor Fitzgerald is making an impact in this game since he's come on. Eamon Brady, he's a very steady game again. Uh, excellent hassle in there by Sean Duffin. Plays it in the space. Christie's out of his comfort zone here. You know, we'll want Christy Sheeran at the edge of the square. Oh, that's a strong run here. 
Oh, and I think that's fortunate. Free. It's, I think uh, it's fortunate, but he was running he, out of gas. He stumbled, and, and uh, but that's the referee has called it, and it's a free to Cloney. If he has made any error of his judgment today, I think he's been fair in his errors. Very fair. You know? I would say yes. Consistent. He's been very, and that's all you ask for a referee. That's, that's it. Is consistency. James wants to get this ball going quick, and he's over the bar. Now. I think it's time that Cloney maybe need to start looking at the at the net. I would, say, I, I would say Cloney are going to have to have a goal if they won't have any chance in this game. Uh, turnover just making, keeping the co scoreboard ticking over. It might and be worth. Uh, it might be worth um, throwing a uh, big needle up into the full forward there, getting James and PJ around him. There'll be changes made for the. Ah, oh, Sean Duffin collects a brilliant ball in the three quarter line. That's a free, but the. Ah, oh, and that looks like a free to me. Ah, oh, come on, referee. Sean has no whistle has been blown to his play on, as the ball spills out. Certainly, Ralph's time might feel a little hard done by, but oh, we'll I take it. That was a free show, won that ball. Oh, oh. Well done. Tony Martin and Daniel have been outstanding in the defence there today. Very tidy. Oh, oh. No, uh, and very cool in defence. Wouldn't be good for my heart, but here, that scamper. Kevin, oh, oh. Kevin Sheeran puts a, drops a ball short. Owen Neeson has the ball, takes a look up. Oh, oh. oh. Right, uh, Christy has missed that one. Does not want to let him inside or give away a free. My oh well taken Christy Sheeran comes over the ball uses his football skills to put it down the line to Sean Duffin Sean Duffin plays another That's ball uh, into space Niall Devlin's well out but Boris there has experience and playing a bit of a sweeper role in the he back is. line if you put him up forward you'd be robbing Peter to pay Paul maybe Sean Duffin has won a lot of ball there today he's, he's had a Conor Fitzgerald has plenty of pace takes a head up sprays a ball into Shane, Don Shane Donnelly oh Shane Donnelly gets a touch to it and there's a ball Colin Duffin puts it around the goalkeeper great defending by Bernard still, still there still alive edge of the square Kieran Logan pulls in the ball and the ball comes out Niall right. Devlin should be favourite to win this ball here oh and it's hard both oh. teams going for this oh that looks like a bit of charging but, uh, yeah well he's it's, he's never going to he's never going to give that for his time no uh, I think he's they, generally they tend to favour the, yeah, the they defender they in certainly situations do. Certainly do. he was holding his ground Nah, them, but anyway, that's yeah, no, Cloney lucky to get away with that. There, it was good defending there. That end, was very a good goalkeeping there. The goal, Colin Duffin, just put it round Martin Graham there, but just couldn't get a chance to to get a swing on it, and pull it into the net. Just reminiscent of myself there, uh, big Martin there coming out. Not. <laughs> Martin Graham had a good good game in uh, the goals. As Kevin Sheeran, good puck out striking. But I'd say if Ralston can get a goal, that, that'll put a nail in the coffin of uh, Cloney. I have to say, Sean, know that. Sean Duffin's had a, a magnificent match so far. Uh, and he's not alone in that, but he's, he's, he's been outstanding. Uh, he wants the ball, he's hungry for it. And the uh, ball comes out of defence. He believes this is his time. Ryan and Neil, a couple of PJs coming out for it. Ball comes out the uh, half back line. Maybe the the stays now. I think we'll try and get Cloney's the ball in. Hungry for this ball. We'll get PJ away in. That's a dangerous, dangerous ball. ball in. Oh. oh, they want to keep goal side. Oh, Nason's up over on top of it. Ah, no, Nason puts it over the bar. Point. I think he might have had a his eye on goal there, but is that five between it? Maybe I'm, I'm getting caught up in the game so five. much here. Five points against a five-point game. A goal could turn this or, or really put it in the mountain pot, but they need to get that goal. Kevin Sheeran puts a high, put, pumps a high ball, looking for Eamon Oak McCarter, and the ball spills to Kieran Logan. Kieran Logan takes a look up, and that is a great that's effort. A, that's, if that's it a might point. curl in, it might curl in. And it does, it curls over what the bar. Score. As the white flag is raised, Kieran Logan has an inspirational score. What a score, and, and the Tiran Oak uh, supporters rightly uh, applaud that. That's Martin Graham not wasting any time in the puck out. Francis Nason, Sean Duffin battling for it. The ball, as the train comes, as the train goes past in the background. And there's another ball looking for in the forward line that's a Cloney that's sub Donald, oh that's and Conor Fitzgerald gets a stick to it and the ball is oh, oh, where have we? around oh, Cloney are looking for he's goal he's through he's through oh. Puts it. oh and that's a point could have been the goal that's Donald face. Graham that's on I'm not sure who he's on for but good work there by Donald oh, I didn't see that must have been at the break I didn't see that one yes. did Donald score that one no Donald they set that up um one of those green or black helmets scored it there. Uh, and like yes. yes. uh, there seems to be a turn up man down and he's going to receive some treatment. I think it's Keeving Duffin, yes, centre half back. It's a five point game again and uh, would there be five to six minutes left here? I would here? say 
I'll try and find out. Not a lot of injury time either, really. Six We're minutes here and here, six minutes left. There might be a couple maybe at the moment, but not yes, a lot uh, more. There has been a lot of injuries, but there has been some treatment on, and the referee will have uh, the that's watch stop, I'm sure. This is tough watching for the for the cloney men here. We know our up backs are against it, but we know the pedigree of these men, and there, there's, there's plenty of fight there, and they'll give everything. I just received a, a, a message here to tell Big Mooney to move his head's blocking the pitch. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> if that's true or not, but I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Colin Bell tell him himself, because uh, I certainly wouldn't want to be telling him. Cloney looking very dangerous as they win another free. Is that Colin Bell texting? Yes, Colin from Maharaj. You know Colin? Oh, yeah. no, Colin very well. Colin just living in Ralston, and I think uh, uh, Colin's father uh, teaching the Cloney band. Stanley was uh, the, the marching discipline I heard instructor. that, and that is a lovely story. So when, if you're watching there, You'll have uh, maybe divided loyalties today, Colin, but uh, you're always very welcome in Ralston. And Cloney. And another point. And a point. The point takes it to four. It's a four point four game. Point. Very dangerous score. For Colin was up last Saturday with me to purchase uh, the 75th anniversary book for, for St Mary's JC Hoggle. So those are available for sale. Just a well, wee plug are. there. A wee plug. No, no, a wee plug. And Imano goes up for the ball in the half four line. And he has collected. The referee signalling. A sideline ball, have we? Again, four points in it. Four points with about five point, five minutes to play. This is the, this is where Tiernan Oak wanted. This perhaps maybe maybe Sean will be looking to hit the better sideline this time. He certainly has the ability. The instructions being shouted on from the side of the pitch. Tension is palpable. They know they're so close. Oh, and, and that, that is a mighty that. effort. And that oh, is a no, no, save by Martin Graham. That could have very easily ended up in the top corner. The ball still. Kieran Logan's fighting for the ball. And he picks oh. it up. A great play. Again, every ball Shane fought Donnelly, hard uh, for. Shane ahead of experience, sprays it out towards. There's Kieran Logan. Oh, they're fighting for the same ball. Eamon Oak looking for the here. ball. A point for Ralston here could see this. Spilling around his legs. Everybody's trying to get a hold of this ball. Shane Donnelly, very cool head. Oh, is and that that's. Point or that is. Oh, look, that's going to tail wide. Tail wide. Sean Duffin will be disappointed with yeah. that one. Shane Donnelly's definitely made an impact since he came on. He's won a lot of ball. That's a very quick ball out. Oh, that is superb play by Ryan and Neil. Keep going, Tom. Don't fire. Ryan and Neil. Uh, Keep going, son. Oh, that's Keevin Duffin, sorry. Keevin Duffin, number six. Eamon Oak has the ball. Oh, and he's taken out a free every day. That might be the second yellow card of the day. Indeed, I think it is. Not an awful lot in it, but Eamon Oak knew what he was doing, and he bought the free very well. Boris couldn't let him pass. But Eamon Oak, very clever play to win that free. And that is certainly within Sean Duffin. Second Duffin's yellow today. That, this this might be the, the nail. This might be the point that seems... Well, that's, the, this will make it a five-point game, but... We know not much. There's all, everything to play for. I've been here before in championships when you're watching and you're so close and it's it's nail biting and you just want that final whistle and that's how the Tuna Oak supporters are feeling right now. I would say I would, I would be looking. I would say there's going to be the guts of five minutes still play still to go. Two minutes or less, I've been told, which sounds brilliant. Sean Duffin makes a little bit more uh, space between. A very quick puck out. I don't even know if that's. Uh, the referee's going to call that back. Oh, that's. Uh, they did us before at that. Down in Craig in that day, but not today. Less than two minutes to play. Martin Graham puts a high ball into the half forward line. Oh, and Francis Neeson goes up for it. Oh, right. PJ's coming out looking for this ball. And it comes to a blue jersey. Yeah, the defence stands strong for Amos. Kevin Duffin has been an absolute colossal in that defence today. Oh, that, that's going to be Boris's ball all day long. Right, Niall Devlin's going to put effort, put, put pressure on. I think it's now or never Sean for Cloney. Duffin. They want that ball at the end of this pitch. She, she and Donnelly fighting, battling Bobby as, as ever for the ball. There. Workmates. And, and the ball comes fight. out. And the referee's going to signal that it's a Cloney ball. Cloney ball, the, the time is running out.
Lane's getting a little heat at the side. Referee seems to be seems to be a little. Uh, Tiernog man getting some treatment. Can't see who that is. Seems to be Sean Duffin. Seems to be getting treatment just at the side of the pitch. The time is ticking on here. The referee. This is Tiernog will have to keep to get this ball out. Nearly the last throw at ice, five points in it. We're probably in, going into injury time here. It's going to take something miraculous now. And oh, no, that is a mighty uh, sideline ball. Oh, that looks like a free. Oh. Uh, I think the referee's going to pull for a uh, call for a free. I think we need we're to. We're going to have to drop this in. I think we do. I think we do at this stage. Sean oh. Duffin, is that Sean? No, Ryan O'Neill. Ryan O'Neill, who has had injury problems, seems to be experiencing a little bit of cramp. The referee. And here he's dropping oh. it in. Oh, Aaron McNeely stands to oh. oh, and that ball could have went anywhere. That ball could have went anywhere. As a, as and I think that, I think that might just be it. That was half. That was more than half a chance. Kevin Sheeran standing nonchalantly at, uh, at the side of his stick, but I'm sure he, he was very glad to see that ball go wide. I think we're on this town of it. Here, was all over the field today. I think Christy Sheeran. It's, it's oh, fantastic. Game. Listen, you know, there's 15 men in the and midfield. And is young McKeown. Absolutely brilliant. It's been a lot of very strong performances. Sean Duffin, Sean of course. Duffin has been fantastic at Maybrook today. Now that's Daniel. Even though Carl here, he's got plenty of space to exploit. This boy will know he can go round them. Oh, plays a very smart ball across. Kieran Logan. Oh, well played, Dan. Perhaps looks at the man and the ball play. comes out. And, and the final Kieran whistle Logan goes. And the champions. And as a crowd go absolutely mental. What a fantastic day for Tiernan and Oak. I think Nicky would like to leave the microphone down and go running. Hi, I'm going to have stage. to go and enjoy it, Nigel. Thank you so much. And Listen, uh, big congratulations to Ramos Town. They were the better team the on the day. Nigel, credit to Cloney. We always know it. We're always against a game. And, and for everybody watching at home. And enjoy your celebrations and congratulations, Nicky. Thank you. Okay, Nigel. Thanks, man.